Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the show. We're here today with Cabral Concept 1837. Thank you for joining me on this Motivation and Mindset Monday, where we are going to work through the topic of, is 100% self-reliance the key to a happy and healthy life? And I really want to explore this in depth because it does have many levels to it. And I would think that for most people, they've come to a certain realization at this point in their life of what they need to take on in terms of responsibility, what that percentage might be, and how successful they've been to this point. So I'll just let you know that many people in their life have to accept greater amounts of responsibility in childhood, maybe because they're both their parents are working one or two different jobs, trying to support the family. Maybe their parents just weren't that supportive of them. Uh, maybe they had to help out other family members in addition to themselves as well. They didn't have someone to be able to help them with schoolwork or you know those little odds and ends that they needed during the day. So they had to understand from a younger age, while well, a lot of the responsibility is if they wanted to be happy, healthy, successful in whatever it might be, it did fall on them. And then others, by the time they got to college, they realized, okay, I'm no longer at home now. Wow, there's a lot more responsibility that I now bear in terms of getting my own food, getting my own clothing, getting my own books, studying on my own. There's no one there to keep me as accountable. And then there are then those people that do graduate from college, university, and they get their first job. They understand that now there's a lot more structure. They have to show up at a specific time. And it's their choice, honestly. It's their choice whether they show up on time or not show up on time. There are other people that decide to have a family, maybe right away, and they say, okay, this is what my children need of me. Uh, this is now what time I have left for myself in order to be able to fill the things that give me joy or that I need for my own health or happiness. So what I'm getting at is this, is that eventually though, we typically all come to the resolution or the finality that if we are to be truly happy and healthy, we need to accept responsibility in our life. So now I know that this seems strange at first, and it was to me. I realized this probably as I did a lot more reading on self-improvement, self-development. I read uh, essentially every single one of the uh, Nightingale Conant-based books and audio. Uh, I guess they were CDs back then. And for me, I, everyone kept saying the same thing. They literally kept saying, take responsibility, take 100% responsibility in your life, take responsibility for all your actions. And I didn't like to hear those words at first. I really didn't. And the reason is that things weren't going well for me. So I wasn't where I wanted to be in necessarily in my career. I definitely were, wasn't where I wanted to be in my health in my early to mid 20s. Uh, my, my, uh, ability to basically be able to transfer my body, digest food properly, all those things. Those weren't great. My immune system was terrible. Uh, so, you know, when I looked at all these different areas of my life, I'm like, well, this, this, I don't want to take responsibility for this because I don't necessarily really like where I'm at. But after hearing this over and over and over and over, I realized that there must be something to this. And it was only when I fully figured out that the way to move forward is by accepting this is your life, that it's no one else's, and that if it is to change, it's up to me, right? So if it is to be, it's up to me. That's, that's the saying, and it's very true. I realized that no one else was going to be, make me more successful in terms of my health, my overall body transformation, my career, my relationships, my spirituality, my overall happiness. No one else could provide me happiness in my life. It didn't matter how great my relationship uh, was with my uh, girlfriend and my wife, right? Didn't matter. Didn't matter how my relationship was with my, with my family and parents, all that. What mattered was, was how do I see it? How do I believe I 
have some semblance of control within those different areas. Because if you don't feel like you have any control at all, it's really difficult to accept responsibility. After all, if you accept responsibility, that means that you need to take action in order to change your current environment if you don't like it. But if you don't feel like you have the control in order to be able to change things, then there's this cognitive dissonance. There's this belief that I know I have to take responsibility in order to change, but I'm not able to take responsibility in order to change. So that's the true difficulty. So Here's what I found though. Back then, I didn't have a lot of means. I didn't have a lot of means to be able to do much. I didn't have the income that I was looking for. I certainly didn't have the health I was looking for. So it's not like I could continue to wake up even earlier or stay up later to be able to study for certain things or work harder or moonlight or any of these types of things. So what I had to realize was I have to work with where I'm at right now. I have a certain skill set that I'm able to draw upon just this one thing. Let me see what I can do with that. Let me see how I combine my passions into essentially my purpose for living. And that, at that time, it really was. There's no exaggeration. I loved what I did with nutrition and training, strength and conditioning, all those things. I absolutely loved it. There's no doubt about that. But I had to be, for a certain period of time, really focused on getting me well. Because I realized that I was giving about 50% of what I felt my potential was. And now I realize it was maybe like 20, 30% of my potential because I didn't have the energy and stamina to be able to really carry me through the day and certainly wasn't good enough to be able to sustain uh, great relationships and client relationships as well. So I only had so much to give. I was burnt out all the time. But what happened was when I saw that I wanted life to be different, I knew I wanted life to be different. I just didn't know how to make life different. Like that was the, that was the big issue. That's why I was frustrated. That, that's why I was unhappy. I knew what I wanted life to be, but I wasn't there. So I started to understand it's up to me though. It is up to me. I am taking responsibility for everything that's happened to me in the past and that will now allow me to take everything, this responsibility I need in order to get the results I want in the future. Now, it, when you hear those words, and I heard them as well, and I understand what you're, you're thinking, it's not my fault that I got sick. It's not like, that's just one example. Yours could be, it's not my fault that I had a bad breakup, I had a bad childhood, I had a bad, like whatever it might be. And I get it, I understand that. So I don't think it was my fault that I got sick. I don't, right? I, I had... Uh, eaten foods that were food sensitivities to me most of my life. I had been put on a whole lot of medications my entire childhood. I had my adenoids removed. I had my tonsils removed. I mean, all sorts of different things. I was put on antibiotics from the age of 14 to 17 every single day, twice a day of amoxicillin. Over my childhood until 17 years old, I swallowed over 3,000 capsules of antibiotics. That's going to destroy anyone's gut flora. And if 80% of your immune system is located in and around your gut, you're going to have big problems with your immune system. And I did. So here's the thing. I didn't prescribe those antibiotics. I was a child. My parents were just listening to the doctors who they felt, and even the doctors felt they had my best intentions in mind. Clearly they were wrong, but they still had my best intentions in mind. So I don't feel that I caused me to be sick. However, I take responsibility that I got sick and that it's up to me now to fix it. I can't blame the doctors. Let's say I blame the doctors. Let's say I blame everybody, right? I play the blame game. Let's say I do that. What happens is this. I become a victim. And I was a victim for many, many years of this mindset. But if I do that, I give all of my power, my energy, my strength to all those other people that caused that to happen to me. And I knew that I could not do that going forward because then they hold the power to get me well. But I realized that they may have caused me to get sick uh, along. Again, I had responsibility in that too. I, I chose to eat certain foods. I chose to stay out later than, than my body could handle. I chose to you know, take on part-time jobs while in high school, while doing martial arts, while playing sports, while having relationships, like all those different things, right? So I realized, hey, some of it's on me as well. And that was kind of that first step. But the thing was, I said was this, is that those doctors, they can't help me now. My friends, my parents, nobody can help me right now except me. Now, when I said that, I realized though, good, I've taken responsibility. I am now taking some of that power back. 
the control I feel is okay. Now it's up to me. I can take that next step. However, I still didn't know what the next step was. So in order then to be able to take that next step, you first have to take the responsibility. Again, you don't have to blame yourself. I didn't blame myself for getting sick. I wasn't happy that I got sick. And and especially back then, I didn't know it would lead to this one day, right? And so, of course, uh, as they say, things happen to us uh, and for us for a particular reason sometimes. Sometimes, right? But here's the thing. It's, It's difficult when you're in that to have that particular mindset. So all I looked at it was like this. Hey, it happened. This is where I'm at right now. I can't continue to blame because that gives away all of my power in order to be able to change the future. So I said, okay, I want my future to be different. Other people have gotten sick before. Nobody I know had what I had. However, people have gotten sick with all sorts of different things and they've gotten well. So why can't I get well too? But I didn't have that path. I didn't have the structure. I didn't know what to do next. So for me, again, back then, just keep in mind, in college, right out of college, early 20s, mid 20s, don't have a lot of income, don't have a lot of means. I mean, back then my rent was like, $275 a month. Like, I mean, we're talking about (laughs) not, not a lot of expenses, but not a lot of means as well. I was kind of finding my way. And, and I was, you know, I was doing a lot of different things. I was uh, doing lots of certifications, all those great things in life. And, and again, like, I don't want to make it seem like that my life was terrible. It's just, it wasn't where I wanted it to be. I wasn't, I wasn't moving in the direction that I really wanted to move until I made this decision. I decided to accept 100% responsibility for my life. I wasn't going to blame myself, but I realized that if things were to be, it was up to me. Now, there is one more piece to this, though, because it's how do we accept it? We need to accept the responsibility, but we have to understand is that we can't go it alone in life. So in the beginning, I tried to go it alone. I tried to say, like, well, I'm going to figure this out for myself. And you can do that. You can absolutely do that. But you have to understand is that a lot of other people have already been down this road before you. Learn from their mistakes. Learn from what they found out in life. Now, this was important to me. I started reading books like Chicken Soup for the, and then like, you know, Chicken Soup for the Soul, whatever it might be. And this is, again, this is going back how many years ago, 15 years ago or so. And so when, when I looked at those, all I was getting from that was inspiration. I'm like, oh, okay, these, this person did this, this person, then this. And, and when I started to read a lot more books, I realized as well in self-improvement that, oh, people had some type of guide. So what I did was I really doubled down at that point on reading on health, on new nutrition, on herbs, on nutritional supplements. And and just like I made that a full-time job in addition to my other full-time job. So I commuted every morning to work about an hour and a half. And I commuted home, of course, an hour and a half. So during that three hours, all I did was read, like that's it, or read. (laughs) And, And the reason why I did that is that I realized that this was going to be an education for me that I was going to be able to use for myself. And even back then, I knew that I was going to be able to use this with my clients. Back then, it was nutrition. It was personal training. It was strength and conditioning, all those different types of things. Really, body transformation is a lot of what I specialized in. Of course, I worked with athletes too, and that was very, very enjoyable, but it was mainly body transformation. So I was, I was doing it as much for wanting to help and teach other people even back then that I was for myself, but I was learning so much and I was loving it. So when I I was reading at least 20 hours a week, right, that's a good full part-time job for most people, 80 hours a month. And I was reading a couple hundred books uh, minimum per year. And that enabled me to begin to work certain plans. Now, reading those books was taking responsibility, but I was borrowing other people's knowledge and intelligence in order to know those next steps. And so the reason why I chose books as well and and audio programs is that they were inexpensive, to be honest with you. And so back then, I was spending a lot of my money on nutritional supplements, and, and I was then starting to do some lab tests. Like That's where a lot of my money went to, to be honest. So what I did then was I did other inexpensive things to learn. So I was reading the books and the books might cost me again, 10 to $20 maximum per book. So yes, that's an investment on a monthly basis. But honestly, I was seeing the payback and and I was also loving it. So that was a passion of mine. And luckily, I don't have a lot of expensive taste. So I can invest in those particular types of things like good food, nutritional supplements, which I do to this day. And I already had a free gym membership, all those great things because I was working in them. So 
What I'm saying to you is this, and I want to start to pull this together because I want you to understand is that you are not to blame for where you are in your life right now. You've most likely made the choices that have been programmed into your subconscious from child and and from what you've seen throughout your life. But once you come to the realization that this is pre-programming, that this is wiring, that sometimes things are done to you, but that you have to take back now responsibility if you want the future to be different. Now, not everybody does. Now, I know that sounds strange, but a lot of people like to live within their comfort zone. So they keep doing what they've always done because they know even though it's not the best life, even though they know it's not exactly where they want to be, they know how to live this life. But I'm saying to you, if you want to live a different life, and you want the health, the relationships, the happiness, all of those different things, you have to begin to rewire your subconscious thoughts. You need to begin to take responsibility for all the actions in your life. And again, a lot of them, you're not going to even know that they're incorrect at the moment, but that's okay. Because taking 100% responsibility does not mean you'll always be right. It means that when you make a mistake, you're willing to say, okay, that was on me. I didn't know that. I'm going to learn from it, and I'm going to do my best not to repeat it in the future. I still might repeat it in the future, but I'm going to do my best not to and continue to learn and grow. That's what it's all about. Now, the next step after that is saying, you don't need to know exactly how to get your future outcome. What you need to do is be able to ask the right questions. Who has already accomplished what I want? If it's a friend or family member, that's typically free advice ask them. If you connect with them, if you literally vibe with them, if you like believe in their path, then you'll want to at least give that a shot. If not, you'll find a coach of some sort, whether it be fitness or a doctor or an integrative health practitioner or a relationship coach, like whatever it might be, you'll seek out that person, right? It's going to cost a little bit more, but the difference is they're going to personalize your plan for you and Typically, that will shortcut your uh, success to a much faster degree. Now, whatever path you go, whether it's reading books like I did back in the day, or now there's so many great things like online courses, health results accelerators, like anything that can target your goal, right? So you're just going to use that, whatever modality, whatever fit feels best for you, because sometimes it's not always about price. It's like, hey, this is what I feel is the best for me. And then what you're going to do is you're going to begin to work that plan actually in a new way. And you're going to feel pretty good about it because you're going to say, hey, I made the decision to work this plan. I'm taking responsibility. I know that this is what's happened to me in the past, but I'm choosing a different life for the future. And I know that that future is not going to be here tomorrow, but it will in time as long as I continue to work the plan. So you're going to work the plan, work the plan, six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks. You're going to continue to check in with yourself every, well, at the end of every day, hopefully, but if not on Sundays, and you're going to say, hey, how did the last week go? How could I improve this week? That's it. And you're going to vow to do that for that next week. And then each quarter, you're going to say, how did the quarter go? Am I on pace to be able to achieve my goals? Following that 12-week year pattern that we talk about so much on this show. So now after you begin to do that, you're going to say, okay, Yeah, things are better. They're going better, but I'm still having issues in these particular areas or with this particular thing. Plateauing with weight, plateauing with health, plateauing with relationships, whatever it might be. So now you're going to go back to, well, you're going to go to a new book or go back to that course, Health Results Accelerator. You're going to go back to that coach, the IHP, whoever it might be, and you're going to say, okay, I've done well. This is where I'm at. Should I retest a lab? Should I try something new? How should I tweak the plan? Because that's really what it's always about. It's about understanding that the journey is unfolding in front of us. And it's unfolding as we take each step. So we have no idea what the 300th step is going to be until we begin to take those first 100 steps. So the goal is to accept responsibility, 100% responsibility, but also the understanding that you should not go it alone. You should have a plan, you should have some type of support group, and you should be able to rely on others as well, but with the understanding that they can't do the work for you. Nobody can. Because the truth is this, that 
your coach, your friend, your family, your doctor, they have their own lives as well, right? So they have their own work, whatever it might be. They have their own families. They have their own issues, like their own personal issues that you most likely know nothing about as well. So even if you're talking with that person for one hour a week, well, there's another 167 that are on you anyway, right? So the thing is this, get the plan, get the support, get the help of others. Check in daily if you can with an online support group, whatever it might be. But at the end of the day, if it is to be, it's up to you right? So what I want you to understand is that's a very empowering thing. That is not a scary thing that should not overwhelm you because you only have to start where you're ready. So start today, start now, set up that plan, accept responsibility, do rely on others, do engage in their help. But at the end of the day, when you achieve the future that you're looking for, I think you'll be proud, you'll be happy, you'll be healthy, and uh, you'll truly be living that dream. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I truly appreciate you. And as always, if this show was helpful, please do feel free to share it with anyone else you believe it could serve. Thank you so much for just tuning into the show. And before you go, I want to make sure that if you have not previously checked out our online practice at equa.life, I can't recommend it enough this week. And here's why. Right now at Equal Life, we are giving away our immunity bundle completely free on all orders over $199. Let me share with you why this is such a big deal. This is the exact protocol we are recommending and have been recommending before all the other protocols had come out way back in March. So basically a year ago. This is the vitamin C, the balanced zinc, and the vitamin D that most people need, if not everyone, in order to keep their immune system firing on all cylinders. This is the protocol that if you use nothing else, has been clinically proven to boost the immune system. This means in conjunction with, let's say you're using daily foundational protocol, level one, level two, level three, using all your other great products, you cannot forget about boosting your vitamin C, your zinc with that little bit of copper B6 and vitamin C in there in order to boost immunity and boost absorption, plus that vitamin D, which is typically dosed at 35 IUs per pound of body weight. If you don't know exactly what that is, it's just about four to 5,000 IUs per day for most adults. And honestly, this whole protocol is as simple as using one scoop of the vitamin C alkalizing vitamin C powder, one capsule of balanced zinc with dinner and four drops of the vitamin D liquid at any time you want during the day. We typically just put it in our breakfast smoothie or something like that. So again, super easy to use. And why is it such a big deal? Well, now more than ever, we need to boost your, our immune systems, but also this is a $99. I believe it's a $99 bundle that it typically people are using on a daily basis or about $3 a day, not a huge investment into our overall health and how much that means for us. But we're giving that away, that $99 bundle away, completely free on all orders over $199 right now. So if you're already using the immunity bundle, pick one up, give it to a parent, give it to a sibling, give it to a coworker, whoever might need it. And we are doing this, again, you know that if we give away a bundle at $99, it's not about the money. It's really not. It's about trying to get these protocols to as many people as possible. That's what it's all about. At times like this, it's really about sharing our mission of hope and healing and try to get through this together as much as we can. So if my team gave me the go ahead in order to be able to give away a huge discount like this, then we're going to take advantage of it. So please, while supplies last, take advantage of this. It is a free immunity bundle on all purchases over $199 while supplies last. We have about 500 of these. And you can just go to equi.life. That's equi.life for all the details. Take care, everyone.